Hi guys, it's Vina with StudioVina.com, where you can learn to pole dance at home with me. I've gotten several questions recently asking about how to tell if the pole is tight enough or too tight. So I thought I'd make a quick little video to help you guys figure it out. Testing your pole to see if it's tight enough. You're going to do these three things and this applies to any of these style poles. It will also apply if you go out and you go to a bar and you're like, hey, they have a pole. I want to try it. Don't just jump on it. You're going to want to check it first. Okay. So the first thing you want to check on your pole or if you're out and about is to see if there's any screws. If they do have screws in the pole, you're going to check and see, do you have a dangler hanging down where there's one that's not even attached? Maybe there's missing uh, screws or things like that. That's a warning sign that you probably shouldn't bother dancing on that pole. Or if you do, you should just do some cute little things around it and no tricks. But hopefully your pole at home is better maintained and you know that you followed the instructions on how to put it up properly. So after that, you're going to do these three things. I call it push, pull, swing. So this is for a static pole. So you wanna make sure that your pole is in static mode, not spin. You're going to push as hard as you can against it, like really push. And then you're going to pull, jerk on it, pull, 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 I'm wearing socks, <laughs> pull. And then you're going to swing around it, keeping your feet on the floor just in case. But what I want you to do is make sure that you're stepping away from the pole so you're pulling against it. You're really leaning away from your pole. And then just kind of walk around it. Ooh, lean, 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 lean. Try the other direction. Lean, lean, lean. That's it. Push, pull, swing then you know your pull is okay. And like I said, if I go to a new place and I'm checking out a pull, I do those things first thing before I start getting my groove on like this. <laughs> anyway, so what, how can you tell if your pole is too tight? Well, the easiest way to tell is if you have a spinning option. If you don't have the option to turn it to spin mode, then a good indication can be if your pole starts to really warp and it gets like bent, that means that you're probably really over tightening it. So if you hear your ceiling creaking and cracking and things like that, if you're tightening your pole, that's way too tight. But if you have a pole that switches from static to spin, you're going to put it on spin. And this is an indicator to see if it's too tight. So if it's on spin and you can barely turn it and it like maybe even springs back the other direction, that means it's way too tight. So if it's the right amount of tension, you'll be able to spin it like this. Spins nice and free. It doesn't bounce back. I don't have to continuously turn it, okay? So that's a really good indication that yes, your pole has got the right tension on it. So keep those things in mind. And remember, install your pole the way the instructions tell you to. And then try the push-pull swing and put it on spin to see if it's too tight. Make sure that it spins freely. One thing to note, if you're dealing with a pole that uses a mount like this, it's going to spin a bit more freely and need less tension than if you use a tension fully, like dome tension mounted. Um, this will not spin quite as freely, but even with the tension mounted, you don't want it to be so tight that it bounces back or that you have to really manually turn the pole all the way around with your hand. It should still spin fairly freely. Now it's not going to like go crazy, but you know, just a little bit of twist and it'll spin a bit. 
then you know you're in a good place. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you have a new pole dance friend or somebody who just got their very own pole at home for the first time and they're questioning, say, hey, I got a video. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.